Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 10th. Guys, we're already here and well into Leo energy. Now, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, so check all three. There's a free calculator down below if you're not quite sure. And if you guys are interested in your weekly love forecast, the link for that is also down below. All right, Scorpio, let's jump right into this. Let's see what's going on for this week. It's looking good, Scorpio. And a theme for the week. All right. Now we have the Ten of Wands, the Two of Coins, the Five of Cups, the Divine Guidance card, the Lovers, the Two of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Wands, and the theme is the King of Wands. So starting out this week, you might already be burnt out a little bit when you have the Ten of Wands and the Two of Coins. You guys have been overworking, juggling a lot of things on your plate. Maybe you're trying to pick up extra hours. Maybe you're trying to make ends meet, working more than one job. Or taking on more, just taking on more on your plate than you know you can do. You might be doing this because you have a specific goal, people depend on you. Or maybe you're stepping up the plate to people please a little bit, Scorpio. I know that's not completely like you, but if it is your clients, your customers, or a project or goal you're working on, I can absolutely see you doing that. But you're no good to anybody, Scorpio, if you're exhausted and burnt out. What good is putting in a 40, 50, 60 hour a week if that busts up your immune system and now you're in bed for four days recovering because you're so exhausted. You can't just think of the short-term gratification. You have to think of the long-term implications of these choices. Now, there's a lot, and it's not that this is a bad thing. Some of this is probably extremely important to you and that's why you're juggling. But that kind of energy is not meant to be sustained over a long period of time. Okay, if you have to do it one day, two days, maybe three days, but no longer. So be very careful of your immune system. Just back pain, stomach ache, headaches, can't sleep. Be careful with that. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you have that 10 of wands. And don't be afraid to prioritize. You might say, well, Angelique, I might miss out on that promotion or I might lose that customer. Well, let me put it in this way. Who is more important? You or your health? And you might say, well, I have to pay bills. But again, let me reiterate. It's not worth you dropping everything. There's other things on your plate than just this one aspect. So you've got to prioritize and think bigger. We have the um, Five of Cups with the Divine Guidance card. I think the reason you're doing this is you might be working really hard because maybe things aren't working out the way you wanted. You know, with everything going on, we've had to change up our schedules, you know, our structure of our lives. We've had to accommodate a lot of things. A lot of things have changed. So when we have that five of cups, it's because emotionally we're really disappointed. We're like, this is not how I want to do things. I, I really wanted it to turn out like that. I really wanted to have this outcome. I wanted to be able to be in this place now or traveling right now. But it's okay. Everything happens for a reason. This is, you're not stuck and you're not hitting a wall per se, but when you have the divine guidance card, the universe is saying, look at, there are alternate approaches, other ways of accomplishing what you're looking to accomplish, but you might be so focused on what's not working out or what hasn't worked out or things are going in different directions than you expected. That's not a bad thing. You're being redirected and redirection in my opinion, is protection in so many ways because it's trying to still secure you, your outcome. Now, when you have the Divine Guidance card, the universe is saying, Scorpio, let's not lament. Let's seek out mentors, advisors, other professionals. Maybe there's people that you really respect in your field or in the area that you're pursuing or even just a grandparent. But the point is, is that this person is objective and they can see things perhaps that you don't see and they can give you approaches that perhaps you hadn't considered or maybe even the answers that you're looking for. Sometimes when we're too close like this, we can't see the bigger picture. So the solutions and the way forward is going to come through another person. Now you have the lovers and the two of wands. What? Scorpio. Now this week really is a beautiful week of decompression. Now, so you start out that week like ah, crazy. And it's probably because you're picking it up from the weekend. 
The lovers and the two of wands, this could be two things, Scorpio. Number one, this is about creating a long-term commitment with somebody. The two of wands to me is always a partnership that share these long-term goals. So they're not just in it for the short or short term. They're here for the long haul. But this can also be for some Scorpios signing contracts or entering careers um, that they really that you really, really love, that you really have a passion for, that really speaks to you, perhaps the mission of this company or this person that you might be even be collaborating with or working with share the same views now you have the page of cups with the six of cups now when you have the page of cups whoever this is whether this is a love interest or an incredible business opportunity this person or entity is something that really doesn't just share your vision they understand you intuitively i love the page of cups because even if it's a lover or, or a friend or a business partner you guys are kind of like soul partners you know you guys both are very intuitive and creative and you get it you guys get each other without a lot of explanation here and this person is someone who's very open-hearted and gentle and can work well with you and move forward with you i think this is a really wonderful week of not just solutions but emotional joy and happiness and new approaches solutions is almost to be sometimes just like oh probably an answer to one problem but this is really a move and approach to a bigger vision that you have so this is wonderful wonderful we have the six of cups this week take some time by the end of this week to spend time with your children or just go have fun go play in the ocean go go for a hike whatever you do that kind of brings out that spirit at the end of the week do this for yourself scorpio you're going to feel so much better when you do because when we act out of fear we only reap fear when we act out of ego we only reap skin deep things when we act out of insecurity we manifest more situations that make us feel insecure so what's good is to let go and recognize like all right i'm overworking this isn't sustainable so obviously what i'm doing isn't the case this is not time to trip up or trip out let's step back and maybe get a second opinion really search why am i doing this especially now that divine guidance scorpio that card why am i doing something what's my motivation is it even something i still want to do that's why it's really good to seek out that mentor this week the theme of the week is the king of wands which i love scorpio the whole point of this week is saying keep your eyes on the big picture of your life scorpio like i said not just short-term gratification but long-term vision i love him because the king of wands is not just inspirational he's a visionary and when you are thinking about your big picture. Maybe you want to travel the world. Maybe you want to finally be a homeowner or a business owner. Maybe you finally want to be in that position at work or have time for your art or whatever this is or to have a family. When you keep your eye on that big picture, the solutions on, on a micro scale are real simple. If you might say, if I really want to have my own company, the solutions to perhaps slaving away at this company that doesn't value you, leave. Go to school start your website solutions are right there when you keep it on the big picture right so if you know that you want to go in this direction and this this situation taking in that direction you know to let it go well it's good about the wands too it's good manifestation energy and whenever you do this the universe always provides you the step stop focusing on the minutia stop hustling for the short term let's keep it broader here okay guys i'm gonna pull just one more card for you anything else they might have to say for you for this week and the four of wands this is the card of abundance prosperity marriage home guys i think this is really where a lot of your vision is here a lot of the stuff that you're doing isn't just for the money it's because of the house you want to buy that wedding you want to have the kids you want you need to support that business you want to open that travel you know itinerary that you will apparently might be pushing off till next year but this is really about celebration and and, and rewards for all of your hard work Scorpio, everything you're doing is amounting to something. It's going somewhere. You will be blessed in this. This is a beautiful week. I hope this serves you, Scorpio. If you would like your love forecast, a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, all those links are down below, guys. Otherwise, have a beautiful week, and I will see you next week for next week's readings.